Hi guys, how are you doing? You're watching Andy WTH. I'm Andy. Uh, this is Big Brother 19 edition, and we just finished a week. Uh, it was a pretty good week. Uh, it was actually really exciting with the battle back and everything else. So let, let's just talk about uh, what happened this week and what kind of effects we we'll have this week, in my opinion. All right. Uh, obviously, this week was Alex, or last week, excuse me. Uh, Alex was the HOH. Of course, she was in HOH. That type of competition that she was on, it was designed for small people like her. So she won. She was the HOH. But really, you know what? She was not the HOH this week. It was Paul. All right. It was his week. Had, up to this point in the game, Paul is actually running the game. Okay. This guy here is a vet and it shows. So what does he do? He wanted Donna to make out. Because this is why he wanted Donna to make out. Because remember, she was doing her little shows. And you know, there were some questions. And, and she was asking these questions, that question. And it was like really raising a lot of red flags for him. Like, what is she doing? Like, she's, she, she's asking a stupid question that could actually expose me and my game. Which, you know, I, I, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you actually can do that. By mistake or on purpose. Who the hell knows? So she is actually a threat to his game, absolutely, 100%. So he convinced Alex, hey, put her up, and he, she also put up uh, Jessica. Now, she wanted a safe week as HOH as much as possible, having as less blood as possible. You know what? She actually succeeded. And I'm actually impressed. She actually succeeded what she wanted to do. And going forward, this HOH will not affect her game in the immediate uh, future, all right? Because, like I said, she was able to get through it with less, pretty much no scars at all, okay? And uh, we'll talk about, of course, who got voted out with Dunamick, because she got voted out. Uh, Jason, of course, won the uh, power of veto last week, and he wanted to pull the trigger and pull off Jessica because and it actually makes sense at that point in the game is because she had nobody in the game. She was a lone wolf. All right. So he wanted to bring her in, kind of say, "Hey, come on, come with me. You know, we're going to work together. You know, somebody else to work with. Another little piece in this game." And she didn't want that. All right, because again, she did not want any more blood on her on, on her hands. She wanted to play it safe. She was able to convince Jason not to use it. Because remember, Jason wanted to put up Mark. Okay? Mark is as, he, he's as dumb as a post, all right? That was not really necessary. All you had to do was just say, hey, Mark, this is how it's going to be. And Mark will do whatever you want. This guy here, Mark, uh, unfortunately, he is not, in my opinion, a leader. He's a follower. He was following Cody. Until Cody decided to throw him under the bus, which was a huge mistake for Cody, by the way. I'm just saying because, remember, that guy could have been an ally to Jessica. He really screwed that up for her in that point of view. And his showman's uh, Raven. Is it Raven? No, no, excuse me, not Raven. What am I talking about? Uh, Elena. That's his showman. My bad. Uh, Ravens with uh, Matt. So, all right. So, all right. So, we got that straight away, right? All right. So, basically, like I said, Marcus is no threat as far as I'm concerned. He's probably the least threatening person in the house for that for that purpose. Somebody else is going to tell him what to do and how to do it. So, that's his game the rest of the year. As far as I'm concerned, that's just how it is. And Elena, well, her, you know, she's with him. Should be the brains of the two. Simple as that. But really, she's not really playing a strong game up to now, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Raven, I don't know what she's there for. She just, I don't know. She's there. And Matt, too, the same thing. So the only one that I find really, really, in a really best position in the whole house at this minute is Kevin. Kevin's just sitting there, you know, all oh, right, I'm good. I'm really, and he, and he is good. He's up to 100% in good shape. This is why he's in good shape. Number one, everybody's looking at Kevin is like, okay, Kevin's there. Hi, Kevin. You know, but he's playing a very, very sharp social game, okay? Like, 
he can go and talk to anybody in the house, okay? And they're going to like, oh, yeah, and they'll talk to him, all right? They don't see him as a threat. They don't, they don't see him as a cop threat or nothing. So and anybody in that household right now, this season, is sitting in the best possible position is Kevin. Absolutely 100%. Now, that's where that's at. And like we said before, Dunamick, it got voted out. And, of course, the battle back came around the corner. And this is where it's going to change the game big time for everybody. Because this is why, okay? Just before this happened, we already know who came back. Uh, Jessica was starting to mend the bridges. And starting to, like, really come in her own in her game. Okay? It was, that was the best thing ever when Cody got evicted. All right? Because he was bringing her down, in the dirt, out the door. She survived this week, the door of the week that just passed. And going forward, she would have been able to uh, evolve her game on her own. And I think that would have been absolutely the best thing for her. But the worst thing that ever happened to her was Cody winning the battle back. I mean, now he's back in the game. And all of a sudden, Everybody in the house, let's be honest, when he left, everybody was like, we want him out. We want him out. The only person they didn't want him out until the end was Mark. Okay? Mark was following him around like a little puppy. And now he's back in the house. What is he going to do? Mike's had to make a lot of fences, and boys, he broke a lot of fences on the way out. All right? And it's going to come in. They're going to look. Oh, my God. Cody is back. As soon as they say Cody is back, Jessica is back attached to his hip, and her game is back in jeopardy. Maybe not this week or the week after that, but her game is in jeopardy as long as he's in the house. But of course, what is she going to do? She's going to associate herself back with, with Cody. They're going to look at all of them back together again, and that's the reason, more than the reason enough, to go there and say, we got to get rid of both of them. And that's what's going to happen. And it's too bad. Now, uh, as far as, like I said, I just told you before, Mark is as dumb as a post. Uh, Matt, well, Matt, uh, he, I just like, we're just talking about each individual to where I think their game is at and what really confuses me about the whole thing. Okay, Matt, he's a great physical player. But one of the biggest things he's lacking, or his weakest part, is uh, his social game. Is like, Remember, guys, when you're in the Big Brother house, okay, your social game is key, key to win. All right? The, the Really, the best person in there has the best social game right now is Kevin. All right? Everybody loves him. He has a great social game. And that's what he's working on. Do you think really it's necessary to win every competition and everything else? It's just, especially early in the game. You don't want to win a lot of competitions. You're, you're hoping the big guns take themselves out. And you just sit back and go like this. Yes, sir. Give me the popcorn. I'm going to watch. All right? Because that's the game that Kevin needs to play. Okay? And I don't know if he realizes he's playing that game or not. But he is actually playing the game like that. So that's what's going to work him out. Like I said, Matt... Him, he's a physical guy, but he lacks a little bit. He's too much into Raven, let's be honest, okay? And that's a huge problem for him. Every time you're, every time you're in a showman's, okay, that, that, that's the problem right there. When you're a showman's, your showman takes so much time out of your game, your social part of your game, that you forget it. You're like, oh, lovey-dovey and all this stuff. Well, yeah, great, but... You're forgetting the rest of the house. You know, you got to be able to go out and mingle and talk and, and you know, laugh and whatever the case may be. And at the right time, talk game. But that's his biggest problem. It's because it's showman. That's going to hurt him going through. Just like, uh, again, Mark is dumb. No offense, Mark. And his his uh, showman, uh, Emily. 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 Yeah. Anyways, both of them are in the showman again. It's it's about it's about them two, and then if one of them's going to go talk to 
a guy or the one song to a girl or, or whatever the case may be, they're gonna be all jealous and everything else, but that's part of the game, guys. You gotta be able to mingle and everything else. So those two that's what I mean, that's what problem with show matches. Again, it's like Cody and Jessica. They're in trouble. Cause it all depends. Again, your uh, all your you know, your your good old social game. That's almost out the door because you're too much into each other. Now, Alex, she's not bad for social by wise, but she's more into the comp area, and that's going to be her downfall down the road. Christmas, well, Christmas, she's just uh, basically a rock in the water, and you go around it, and that's it. All she's going to be good for from here to the end of the season, let's be honest, is a boat. That's it. That's all. Now, Paul, on the other hand, he has a good social game, you know, pretty good, and he's also not bad in competition. So he's kind of a balance. So he, you know, well, that's only because of experience going for, but the problem is the rest of the house is going to start seeing that, and they're going to go after him sometimes in the game, and he'll be out. I don't, like I said, I don't think, I'll be surprised if Paul actually makes it to the jury, let's be honest. But he's playing a great game, don't get me wrong, but sooner or later, somebody's going to have to open their eyes and see, okay, Paul, we got to get rid of him. And Ramsey, well, Ramsey, 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 uh, his social game is not there uh, as far as I'm concerned, and he is going to be used as a pawn star from here to pretty much the end of the season. That's what he's going to be sitting on the old... Nomination chair, you know, every week until they decide, you know, it's time for him to go. As simple as that. Now, Josh, oh my God, that guy there, the number one, if I was in the house with Josh, his personality, everything else, there's no way in hell I would work with him. More than likely, I'd probably get rid of him. And that's what's going to happen probably sooner than later. He hasn't had to change his game, he has no chance. Okay, so that, that's where I feel everybody is at this stage of the game. Of course, spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear this part, I'll tell you what, what has happened with the HOH, the nomination, and the vetoes because I actually know a little bit what's going on. All right, you ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Guess who won the HOH this week? Jessica. Yay! Jessica won. And of course, what did she decide? To do, no surprise, because there, there could be a, a backdoor plan for this, which would actually make sense. Uh, who did she put up? She put up Ramsey and Josh. Now, and of course, she won the power of veto this week. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. In my opinion, if I was her, this is what I would do. I got the power of veto. Here you go. All right. Who do you put up? You put Ramsey and Josh. Who, what, if Josh is going out. Is, you know, they got into a fight with her. Or he got into a fight with her. So Josh is fighting with everybody. It doesn't matter. What I would do myself. Okay. Would I use the power of it? You're damn right I would. Who, what, if I was her, who would I put up? And I, and I love Paul. I really do. I put up Paul. Simple as that. Bang. Boom. So I... I now, Thursday night this week, what happens? Well, well, well. The nomination was, it doesn't matter. Two of the threats to your game is up on the block. And it doesn't matter who goes home. Take a home. And you're good. Okay? So you got rid of one of your enemies. Or your, not enemies, but one of your uh, people that can actually give you a hard problem in the game. So that's what I would do. I would actually, that's, that's simple as that. It's very easy. But anyway, we're going to see what's going to happen. If you watch Andy WTH. I'm Andy. Thank you for watching and taking the time. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now. Keep watching Big Brother. See you guys later.